And now we're going to uh, set up the floating bridge uh, that's used a lot on a Stratocaster style guitar. So you've got your springs in place, and you're going to need some wood shims, uh, different thicknesses, a Phillips head screwdriver, and get ready to uh, tune your guitar as well. I'm going to use a little electronic tuner. Now the real trick here, uh, we've got our springs on, and you'll see that the there's no tension on the strings. They're not tuned. So the bridge is all the way down. We need to determine where you want that to be. How far up off the top uh, you want it, if any at all. So you can see the strings are slack. There's no tension there. The springs have got it all pulled forward. So we're going to start... Um, I'm going to loosen up this tension and get the springs uh, pretty slack too. And then we're going to take a small shim and I'm going to set the height that I want the bridge to float above the surface of the guitar by putting a, a small wood shim between the guitar body and the bridge uh, itself. See how I've got that wedged in there. That's pulling the bridge forward a little bit to give me just a little bit of action there. It's kind of hard to see on there but the bridge is tilted up off the surface just slightly. Probably something like a 32nd of an inch. Or something like maybe half a millimeter. Now with that in place we're going to fix the position of the bridge by putting some more wood blocks on the other side of the uh, the tremolo. And I'm going to brace that in there so now the bridge can't move at all. We've got the height set and then the springs and everything are slack. The bridge is now in a fixed position. So go ahead and take your tuner or if you do it by ear and tune the guitar now. So now we've got it tuned, and now we've got we've set the position of the bridge and the tension that we have on the strings is now set. We know how much force is going to be applied. Okay, now we're going to pull out that block. The strings are going to hold that in place against those wood blocks. And then we're going to worry about getting our spring tension to match the tension from the strings. I know that's a mouthful, but notice how we've got this set. Uh, I'm actually a little heavier on the bass side and not quite as much tension on the treble side. But the real secret here is to just keep slowly tightening these screws up until those wood blocks fall out. At that point we know that the bridge has moved slightly enough to let the, the blocks out and that means that the springs have put just as much tension on the bridge as the uh, strings on the front. And let me say that again just for clarity. The springs here on the back have to have the same tension that the strings on the front are pulling on the bridge. When those two are equal, the bridge will stay where it's at. And you can see here they've popped out and now my tension here and my tension on the springs are the same and the bridge will stay in that one's fixed position and will stay in tune.